Six is the musical that has taken the world by storm. It started off in the UK. It did a US tour. It went to Broadway. Now it's coming back to Chicago. We are so excited. The show is coming here March 29th through July 3rd. So plenty of chances to go ahead and check it out. We have two of the stars, Kayla Wilcoxon and Storm Lever here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Of Thank course. you for having us. <laughs> uh, so you play uh, Catherine of Aragon and Anne Boylan. I mean, this, the two characters are, are connected. Let's talk a little bit uh, about that. <laughs> they have a sordid history, a yes. sordid past for sure. Um, I'll let you talk about your character first since she was the first queen. Yes, Catherine of Aragon is the wife who was married to Henry for 24 years. She was the queen until she died. Um, the connection with Anne Boleyn is that Anne happens to be one of the women that Henry cheats on. <laughs> Catherine went one of the three women. Um, and Aragon is a Spanish warrior um, queen who comes over to help out. The, the country, yeah. <laughs> and Anne Boleyn is quite the tragic success story where she um, was able to take over as queen. Henry fell in love with her. He started exchanging love letters with her. And she withheld herself from the king, eventually asking if I will become your wife if you leave your current queen and leave your current wife and hand over the throne to me. And he ended up changing uh, the changing to the Church of England and um, separating from the Pope and creating a whole new religion in order to um, wed Anne Boleyn. I mean, because there is, I was trying to think of anything that was modern day like this. I mean, because there was no TMZ to warn you about Henry VIII, you know. Before. <laughs> truly, truly. Yeah. <laughs> there, there, there was nothing as, as far as that goes, but I mean, there's. it's not just, you know, divorce. It was divorced, beheaded, killed. I mean, there's so many different you know stories to all these uh all the different different wives tell us a little bit about what we're going to see in the uh in the show you get to hear about how creative he was of how he left all of his different wives he was definitely creative in that sense you also get to hear from these women you've i, I think a lot of the history of henry the eighth you get his perspective and a lot of a male interpretation of what was going on at that time and these are all female identifying voices and the team is um a a team of of incredibly strong, wonderful people leading us that very much are interested in uplifting those voices. Mm -hmm. Because you know you're, you're definitely one hundred percent right. Is that you know when you're in school and, and learning, you're hearing it from Henry the Eighth's perspective, a form a, a male narrative, and this is the first time that we actually get to hear these stories from the women. Oh yes. yeah. <laughs> as far as looking out into the audience, you know what's it like to see crowds of women, or you know people who come to see the show. Uh, because they see representation and what that means to them. We actually had our first audience last night in our invited dress, and um, it was insane to see all of the young people of color in the audience who were just so into the show because they were seeing themselves represented. So it's such a special thing, especially for me, to look out into the audience and see all of those little little children just knowing that they can do this one day, that there's a spot for them, and we have created that space, and Six has created such so many i mean it's six roles but there's so many companies and they've created so many opportunities for little women of color it's exciting for them to come and see us and they get to you know see a little bit of themselves in every single one of us and i'm excited for these children to it's really exciting too because you know historically these queens have very specific races yeah. but in the show they purposely do not cast based off of those races. It's mm -hmm. to show you that anyone is worthy of queendom. Anyone can be royal. It's about how you carry yourself and see yourself and how you treat your fellow queens. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about the other wives in uh in six. So we you know we see the two of your stories. What you know what else are we going to see in the uh, in the show? Um. So divorced is Catherine first, and then beheaded is Anne, and then died is Jane Seymour, who was also a lady in waiting for Catherine of Aragon. And then the next person is Catherine Howard, or oh, no, Cleves. Cleves, Anna of Cleves, mm -hmm. who was also divorced. Then it's Catherine Howard, who was beheaded. And then our survived wife is Catherine Parr. So many Catherines. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of Catherines. It was a popular, popular name at, at the time. Oh, yeah. When you got cast in the uh, in the role for the uh, for the tour, or just in your research, did you notice that your friends and family started, or people on, on social media were like, "I want to read more about Henry VIII," or "I want to read more about the wives," because maybe they didn't necessarily know all the history? Did that get them interested in that? Oh yeah, I remember posting a video on my TikTok and um, someone saying like, "Oh yeah, I just did a project on Henry VIII, and now I have to go back and like re like write my project because I didn't realize that there was going to be a, a story told from the women's side, like the 
female perspective. And so I think we've opened their eyes and I think Toby and Lucy have done an incredible job with the script and the score of opening the world's eyes to our side of the story and let, let, let us tell what happened to us. So I think people are definitely deep diving into it more than ever now because Six is like a fantastic musical. Mm -hmm. I had not experienced because I think a lot of people are, are familiar with Anne Boleyn's story and you know, me coming up to individuals saying, it's gonna be me. They were at first a little confused because that's not the image that they necessarily have of Anne Boleyn. And a lot of people know different stories of her, know that there's rumors that she was a witch or that she was incestual or that she took over the throne. And there's so many negative connotations when it comes to Anne Boleyn. And then going back and actually reading the history and digging into her story, you get to see that a lot of this was rumors and conjecture and the way that we tried to make women look at this time and not necessarily the actual history and what was actually, what we can see factual of what happened to her. Uh, I do want to talk about uh, two other productions. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Hadestown. The tour just came through Chicago. It was here for two weeks. It sold out right away. Yes. Um, people were, you know, were, were loving that, that show. Um, Hades Town is such a beautiful show. It's so beautifully written, telling the story of Orpheus and Eurydice, Persephone and Hades, um, and it's just this this love story that I mean, Anais Mitchell she writes such gorgeous poetry, and it was so poetic. So coming from that into six is like a whole jump for me because I'm jumping into like this pop world of like you know superstar and. It, and Hades Town is just not that. It's you know it's 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 very tragic. It's it's a tragedy. It's um it's it's a little traumatizing because you know some things events on stage can be a little traumatic to play every single night and it can be exhausting but i think that um it was such an incredible experience i was so young when i joined the show and um it kind of like raised me a little bit in a way and i've met i've got to work with so many incredible people andre de shields amber gray um even oblanzada reeve carney patrick page like i just have been surrounded by nothing but love and so i'm excited to be a part of six now where i'm supported by some incredible queens i'm excited it was it was a great experience it was a great experience and andre de shields obviously you know one of the main stars of the show got to start right here in chicago with hair in the 1960s so you know wonderful connection uh to him here in chicago and then storm two questions i have about the donna summer musical uh first of all when i went to go see it i was probably in, in the center section towards the back and the amount of times when certain songs would come on and people thought they were at a concert and just started standing up and dancing. I've heard you talk about it. I'm assuming it wasn't just the one show that I was at. I'm sure it happened all the time. They didn't think they were at a concert. They were at a concert. It was people thought Donna Summer had resurrected and came back to life screaming, I love you, Donna! I just, it was, it was unlike anything I've ever experienced. It was really, really awesome. I mean, hot stuff came on and people, you know, stood up, you know, she works hard for other people were like, all right, this is, this is my song. And it just, it was, I was like, I'd never seen this in a show before, but it was, uh, it was cool. But I was like, I heard you talk about it. I was like, it, this must have happened more than once. It happened at every show. It's one of those moments that, that it's the power of music. When a song that you connected to or that you remember from your past comes on, it's not a choice that you start to yeah. groove and you start to vibe with it. That's what music does to you. And you can see people have that, it have that effect on people to this day. And also, you know, LaShawn's and Ariana DeBose, who's having her moment right now, part of that show as well, too. West Side Story, you know, she's probably, you know, most likely going to win for, you know, Best Supporting Actress. Tell us a little bit about working with her. When was the last time you talked to her and the excitement that you felt watching West Side Story? I'm so excited. Both of them, both of those women are queens, period. And they carry themselves that way throughout that entire process. They... I was their duckling Donna, so I was the baby Donna, and they very much took me under their wing and were incredible role models throughout that entire process. Um, I, too, believe some great things are about to happen for Miss Ariana DeBose this weekend. We're crossing our fingers and feeling good um, for her. She was in um, the audition process during summer, so I remember watching her go back and forth about, is she going to get it? Is it going to happen? And knowing that you know, seeing that this is a role that is very much fits her and suits her. And now it's just a matter of, can this room see the star that this girl is? And I'm very excited that the world got to see it. They're going to see it and hopefully, you know, fingers crossed. And, you know, we're saying big thoughts for, for her on, on Sunday to, to win that, uh, that award there. And then final thing, you guys are going to, you both are going to be spending a lot of time here in Chicago and anything you're excited to, uh, to eat, to visit, to try to, uh, to do while you're in town. All of it. <laughs> all of it i'm 
I'm from the Midwest. I'm from Kenosha. So like, I'm excited to be around family again. And I'm just excited to experience the city with an incredible group of women. Like, I just know we're going to have a blast out there. Everything. There's so many activities to do. So I think we're going to try and do it all <laughs> in the short amount of time that we're there. I'm oh, excited. is that you? Go to <laughs> the pizza. I want to try some deep dish pizza. Um, that's that's high on my enjoy. list. Yeah. And plus with you being from Kenosha and family and friends coming down, you got a great tour guide and you know, they're going to set you right as far as the places yeah. to go ahead and check out. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, Six is going to be here March 29th through July 3rd at the CIBC theater. Broadwayinchicago.com is where you can go ahead and get those tickets and uh, can't wait to see the show. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much.